Hello there, welcome to the exact moment I realized I had a problem with red lipstick. This is a Valentine's Day inspired video looking at my top 25 reds. Big fan of this classic lip color and many of you might be wearing one right now. You might also think Valentine's Day is a load of rubbish and you're just having dinner with your best friends like I am or watching rom-coms, but you know what? Red lipstick knows no bounds. I had over an hour of footage from filming this and would happily chat away about the power of a color that suddenly makes you feel like you could take on the world with one swipe, but let's keep it short and sharp as usual. I use a mix of high-end reds from luxury brands like Chanel, Dior, and Charlotte Tilbury, some cult companies like Kosas and Glossier, and some sheer versions from Lipstick Queen and Fresh. Although a lot of these shades are quite similar, hopefully this shows you that there are many different ways to rock a red lip. Okay, can you tell whose reds I'm a big fan of? Chanel was where my love of these lipsticks began, so I'm not sure whether to thank them or blame them actually. Inimitable was the first red I ever bought about seven years ago. Before that, blissfully unaware. This slightly warm shade has a tiny bit of glitter in it that makes your lips look a bit more full. Pirate is an absolute classic and one of the most famous reds in the world. It's a great mix of cool and warm tones at the same time, so it works well and stands out on all skin tones. The Rouge Lure Velvet shade La Fascinante is definitely my favorite Chanel red and certainly one of my top two of all time. This is such a creamy, smooth formula and a great rich color. Lasts all day and all night. Rouge Tentacion is a new old purchase. I haven't used it yet, so it still looks very fresh. The regular Rouge Lure formula isn't as matte as the velvet, but this color payoff is so impressive. Whew. The next three are a trio of Rouge Allure Velvet Reds from the Rouge Collection back in 2016. Rouge Chanel is fiery, slightly on the pink side with an almost raspberry undertone. Classic movie star color. Rouge V has a subtle, almost earthy brown tone to it, which makes it a bit more natural and wearable if you don't want to go all out with a bright red. And Rouge Audace is so dark it's basically burgundy, but that vampy red wine color makes it one of my favorites to wear on a very regular basis. I do have two other Chanel reds from different ranges. I picked up this Rouge Allure ink very recently. Normally not a liquid lipstick person, but I was told this is creamy, smooth, and comfortable. The shade Experimente is a great, deep, almost brick red. Interested to hear from anyone who's been using this formula. And Rouge Coco Shine in Rebel is an old, bright, poppy red that's one of Miranda Kerr's favorites. Big hint for the next celebrity makeup bag there. A nice mix between a shiny balm and a lipstick, so it's subtle enough for any low-key occasions. Burberry's lip cover in Ruby made my top five products of all time video, so you can tell this one comes in as my number one red. Anyone feeling a bit heartbroken this Valentine's Day? I am too, because this has been discontinued. Burberry have the occasional mini on offer, and Military Red is such a useful one. The formula hasn't been compromised, even though it's absolutely tiny, so you get all the impact of this great fire engine red. Hands up if you use Dior 999, another one of the most famous reds in the world. I only got the matte version late last year and boy is it matte. One swipe and you feel like Natalie Portman in Paris in the ad. Now Charlotte Tilbury certainly knows a thing or two about reds. Her Matte Revolution Red Carpet Red Shade is one of her best sellers and one I only added to my collection in January. An absolute classic ruby and my second favorite creamy matte formula after Chanel Rouge Lure Velvet. Her Hot Lips Shade Karina's Love featured in my Red Lips and Nails video a while back. This is inspired by the actress Karina Lau and the shade represents good fortune and joy in Chinese culture. I took one look at Love Bite on Sam Chapman from Pixie Woo and added it to the car. Charlotte herself actually applied this on Sam in a video. It's such a striking red with a slight sheen because it's from the KISSING range. My first ever Charlotte Tilbury purchase were these mini lipstick charms because that was all there was in Hawaii a few years ago. The shade So Marilyn is actually gorgeous. It's my ideal kind of dark, deep red. If anyone watching is a bit afraid of red lipstick, start with more of a stain. Glossier Generation G in Zip will be your new sheer matte friend. This is quite a warm red that can build in intensity, but it still lets your lips breathe through the waxy finish. NARS Mysterious Red was an impulse buy one night between work and dinner when I needed something that would stay put. I'd seen Rosie Huntington Whiteley recommend this exact berry red shade. Kosas was a natural beauty company I discovered in late 2017 through Gwyneth Paltrow. Electra is her favorite, a bright red with a slight sheen. Kat Von D's studded kiss lipsticks were all the rage a few years ago. The shade name Underage Red caused quite a stir at the time, but it's meant to be reminiscent of sneaking into concerts and bars, a bit on the drier side of matte lipstick. Hexagram is my favorite of the pair though, a deeper, darker shade. Can you tell I tend to go for those? I'll leave a link to a great Into the Gloss article below which sold me on these. A striking red lip and clean skin is my ideal look. We're nearly there, the final five. 
The shade Lani from Gigi Hadid's collaboration with Maybelline has kind of blown my socks off. Really impressed by how creamy, pigmented, and punchy this shade is. Topshop Rio Rio was a very early red in my collection thanks to the recommendation of one Alexa Chung. And yes, a makeup bag video for her is on its way. This one teeters between orange and red, whereas Topshop Hazard is right back in the rich red box again. This one appeared in an Into the Gloss article as well as a staff member's favourite, and I take those recommendations very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that they even made me buy this one too. Lipstick Queen's Medieval recently featured in a Things We Finish article, and one ITG staffer said it's the perfect, easy, balmy red to apply on the subway. Sold. Love a low maintenance lip. Rounding out that category is the Fresh Sugar Tinted Lip Treatment in Passion. Another Into the Gloss find. They have a lot to answer for. Aussie actress Phoebe Tonkin swears by this as her red balm of choice. And boy, does it pack a punch for a balm. Look at that color. Thank you so much for watching. I hope one or two of these have caught your eye and hopefully showed you that there are more than a few types of reds out there. I'd love to hear about your go-to red lipsticks. What kinds of shades do you prefer? Bright and bold, deep and dark, mostly matte or some glassy gloss. I bet most of you have a favorite. But if you don't, let me know which shades you prefer to wear while the rest of us run for the rouges. Not that I need any recommendations though. I think I can draw the line at having a different red for almost every day of the month. That might be a fun challenge actually. Let me know if you'd like to see me document that over on my Instagram, at Matilda on video. I used to work in a florist and certainly don't miss the Valentine's Day rush or the rose thorns. Lipstick is a much safer business. See you next time.